Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create uh, this amazing double exposure effect. You can use two kind of textures on uh, this image like this one and this one. Looks great both of them and I found this very attractive. So let's start our work without wasting any kind of time. Uh, I would like to close this effect and we need to import our model layer so i would like to select our model layer and drag it into photoshop now let's start our work without wasting any kind of time and the second image i am going to use is this one so first of all we need to create a selection around our character so we'll select a quick selection tool and then we'll create a selection once you are creating selection make sure you are selecting the right areas because sometimes quick selection tool didn't work well on some of the images so you have to do it with your own hands okay so I am fine with the settings and now if you want to make it layer mask directly click here and if you don't want to do this just select and mask after that you will see this black background and if you don't see this black background don't be worried about that you can change the view mode from here you can make it on red black white make it black and white so I would like to go on black and then we will select our refine brush tool and simply just refine the background of our this character just uh, rotate the brush around uh, the models corners we just want to get rid of this black or oh sorry white dots once you get right with these uh, white dots like this just go directly on shift edge and shift edge to a little bit of four or six percent it should be in minus and from downside click output to new layer with layer mask and click on ok now you are done with this now you wanna make it black and white but before we do anything else we need a background so we'll select our background layer go to adjustments and click on solid color from solid color I would like to make it white solid white click on ok now we have a background let's just name this as BG let's just our model layer as a model now we wanna make it black and white you can do it in two ways if you wanna directly apply on this layer you can do by going image adjustments and black and white and if you wanna make a separate layer without affecting this layer just go to adjustments and click on black and white it will create a layer separately and click on this uh, rounded error it will make a clip mask it, the effect will be apply only on this model now it's time to get our uh, uh, this uh, background unlock this right click on this and click on convert to smart object now once you converted this select and drag it into our main document before doing anything else just press ctrl alt and take your cursor between these two layers and it will make a mask clip mask and if you don't uh, understand this thing just right click on this and click on create clipping mask it will do the same job now press ctrl T and uh, we wanna make it size it down down it a little bit until you satisfied with the settings like I would like to I am fine with this now the thing is that we wanna make this side in this side so right click on this and click on flip horizontal now we have a rounded uh, model like this you can make it a little smaller more smaller but for the time being I would like to go with uh, this size now click on this check mark to accept these settings and then we'll simply just uh, select the blend mode 
to lighter you will see the lighter is working nicely so we would like to move this until we are satisfied with the settings now press ctrl t and from here we can make it smaller and like matching with the character don't be worried we will mask it out uh, from our selection but uh, for the time being i would like to make it like this yes that's uh, much better yes i am fine with this now the only thing is that uh, we have to mask the area out so we'll name this layer as a uh, tree we'll create a mask on it by pressing brush tool we'll get our brush tool hardness should be 0% foreground color is black and we'll mask out the area which we don't want to apply this uh, trees texture so i think i am i am fine with this uh, this setting that's so cool now you see that the gray background disturbing our effect how to get rid of this gray background and you will see our character is in black and white but the texture is again in colorful you can turn off your texture or if you want to make it also black and white do you can do the same job but for this image we'll go to image adjustments and select first your image and then go to image adjustments and go to black and white you will see this is the gray color now click on ok and uh, now go to image adjustments and click on levels and now we'll get rid of this uh, gray background Let's change the presets to lighter and change this and shift this to left hand side until you see the white color has sorry gray color has gone now we'll shift this center point to about like uh, like uh, 45 for this image you can change this according to your image i would like to go with 55 and click on ok now you will see the effect looks much better let's just check the size of this image but you will see our mask is also shifting this on the side so we'll uncheck this and click on this chain and now we'll press ctrl t and you will see it's not containing all the effects so now we can do that work nicely for this particular image i think we are fine with this setting now click on this check mark and you will see it looks much better much much better so we are done with the masking and applying effects on the image and you can cut right this uh, uh, effect and that's i think it's it's a fine here now it's time to create a light how we can do that creating a new layer size it up a brush tool selecting your brush tool size up your brush tool and i would like to use a sorry light color the color should be any of them click once and twice after that select a hard color a little bit click ok and then size it uh, down like this and double click and you will see it's nicely applied click on normal to screen or light i think light is nice but screen is much better so we will name this layer as light and uh, i think it's nice so now we need to use some birds okay so we will directly drag our birds inside photoshop in our document now size it up change the blend mode to uh, multiply size these birds are down and you will see look like this but that's nice now it looks nice so 
now press control L that's that's nice now press control J to copy these birds and size it up and now it looks nice so we'll flip horizontal and it looks much better and I am fine with the setting so we'll apply a final filter so how we can do that we'll go to levels and change the RGB to blue and shift this to this side like this but you will see it not looks so much cool we'll select under second birds layer and we'll go to adjustments before doing anything else we'll create a new layer and name this layer as a uh, gradient then we'll uh, go to this adjustments and click on gradients but i forgot to make it soft light so click on ok here change this to overlay or soft light no soft light is nice double click on this thumbnail and we'll get back get back to our uh, effect so i would like to i would like to go with the uh, with uh, this one then click on ok then change the angle to zero percent and then uh, the make it reverse change the style to radial and increase the scale up to uh, two, 210 percent and click on ok and now you will see our effect looks much better and we will make it a little more so we will use a uh, blue filter and increase this filter and increase from this side also so that's uh, that's kind of good thing and we are done so i hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet just subscribe my channel and enter into our family and i hope we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning